Hello YouTubers. In this video, we're going to measure current using this sensor. This is ACS712. Uh, it can measure AC and DC current. Today we're going to measure only DC current. It got three pins this side, ground, out and VCC. This side we can feed the current in, take the current out. It doesn't have polarity. We try one side. If it doesn't work, we try the other side. I got a new lithium ion battery and one ohm load. I'll show you. It's rated 100 watt and uh, it's about 3.5 volt. So when I connect here, I should have about 3 volt, three amp, about 3 and half amp or something. And uh, I use this meter zero let's put it inside like this 3.17 amp to double the current i put two one ohm resistor in parallel and two battery in parallel and i'm going to connect this one Put this one inside. Now I take this one and put it here. It's a 5.9, 5.88 amp. Wiring diagram, ground is connected to ground. VCC has to be connected to 5 volt because it will work with more than 4.5 volt. I will later show you in the data sheet. Now, V out, it may get 5 volt. So we have to connect it to 5 volt tolerant pin. So when we go there, the analog in, we have these pins. All of them are only 3.3 volt. So what we can do is, we put a volt voltage divider to divide the 5 volt into half. So we get 2.5 volt. We can feed into the ADC. The wiring connection is like this. Pin B1 goes to the middle of the voltage divider. One side goes to the ground, other side going to the out. And uh, VCC and ground goes here. Now, from the battery, it goes to the load. And the other side goes through the sensor to the ground. Now, I take this one. And put it here. Like this. And then we can tie this up. Now I have opened the Cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install Cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. We can continue. Click System Core. Click Sys. For the debug, select serial wire. Click analog, click ADC1, go below, in 9 we tick it. The in 9 is connected to pin B1, it will be highlighted, yeah, that's here. Now we make it bigger, uh, configuration parameter setting, continuous conversion mode, and we make it enabled. That's all the setting. We can click save. In the description below of this video, I have provided data sheet and diagram and code everything to make it quicker so we can copy and paste. When you go there, here, the data sheet is here. Uh, accuracy about the ADC is here. We will come back later. Diagram picture is here. Cube ID setting is here. The code is here. It's only few lines of code. In the user code begin PV, we copy and paste these four lines. So code begin PV. That's here. We paste it. 
in user code begin to we copy and paste this one it's here we paste it and then in the while loop we copy from here until hl delay 100 that's all the code we can copy and paste there in the while loop that's here we paste it and now we can save now we go to the from here they said some data uh, variables read value and the sensitivity is 0.1 that is 0.1 for the 20 ampere model i am using 20 ampere that's when we go to the data sheet click and open that's here i will zoom it sorry too much and you go below They have 5 ampere model, 20 ampere model, 30 ampere. For the 20 ampere, the sensitivity is 100 milliamp, so millivolt for amp. That's how we I got it. To use different one, we put the one. And the raw voltage, current voltage. And we start the ADC and we pull for conversion and we get the read value from the ADC. And the, the raw voltage is the read value multiplied by the um, maximum ADC voltage that's 3.3 .3, multiplied by 2 because we are multiplying the um, dividing the voltage using divider that's in here we are dividing into half so that's why we are multiplying by 2 and then we divide by maximum ADC value and the current is the raw voltage take away 2.5 the 2.5 I took it from the data sheet when you go to data sheet uh, zero current output voltage is half of the VCC so VCC is 5 volt that's half is 2.5 volt and, and I also want to show you the supply voltage VCC I told you I will show you that's typically uh, 5 volt and minimum is 4.5 maximum 5 volt that's why we supplied 5 volt to the uh, VCC that's how we get the current that's all we can now instead of uploading the code we use the debug to see the live expression. For the debug probe, I use open OCD. It will work with original board, also with the clone board. Click so generate option. Go below. Uh, reset mode is software system reset. Click apply. Click OK. Click the live expression, the button with the read, reading glass on it. Click it and uh, we put the value. This one is already there. We, otherwise, we copy and paste. And the raw voltage, and we copy and paste there. And also the current, we copy and paste. We monitor these three values enter make it smaller and now we can resume the button using the run run button now when we see the raw voltage it should be 2.5 volt because i don't have any load attached to it i remove the load there's no current flowing so it should be 2.5 because and also the current is flowing here it shows the current is flowing it should be zero because i remove the load so that's because the error due to we stop it and i show you
because these two resistors we are dividing the voltage to get the half voltage this one have 5 to 10 percent tolerance and this one also have 5 to 10 percent tolerance so there is a tolerance so th there will be error on it and also in the data sheet when you click this one and open this one and there is a um, ADC errors they, they explain how to uh, change it somewhere here the errors associated with the ADC so due to those two errors and we have uh, for the zero current it shows some current for, so for that what I did is I compensated in the program I I find out for, for me I I need I need to multiply by this number here multiply by that and for you it may be different because the resistor tolerant may be different for you you find out adjust this number to get the raw voltage to zero. Now when we debug it and resume now it's a 2.5 volt and the current is very close to zero. Now I'm going to, I'm going to connect the load I'm going to connect one battery and one uh, resistor it's about 3.5 3.4 amp still there is some uh, tolerance now I'm going to connect uh, two batteries and two load to get 6 amp yeah it's uh, 5.96 amp it's very close to the one when we measured uh, using the multimeter thank you very much for watching if you have any question write down in the comment section below I try to answer as much as I can Thank you. Bye.